Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Monta Villa Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Elna Experience 560. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin and how to thread the machine. So, to start with, let's unthread the machine. And with that, we're going to go over to the bobbin case area here, pull this to the side, take the cover off, take the bobbin thread out. Set that to the side. Then to unthread the top, you snip your thread up here and pull the thread out at the needle area. Make sure you don't pull your thread backwards out of your machine because that can cause lint to build up in the tension disc. So now that we have the thread unthreaded, we're going to wind a bobbin. So to put your thread on your machine, make sure your thread's coming from underneath like this. This on here, put the spool cap on. I usually like to back it off a little bit because these crosswound spools like to spin a little bit, especially as they're getting uh, low on thread. So just a little bit of room there. Then to wind the bobbin, there is a picture up here showing you how to thread that with numbers in it, one, two, and three. But you want to put this right under here. See how that's spring-loaded, how it kind of hangs on to the thread? That's going to help the thread wind nice and evenly on the bobbin. And then it shows you right here at two, you put your thread through the bobbin from inside to outside, right like that, inside to outside. And then pull the thread up to the top and put that on. I like to do that part before I've put it on the bobbin winder spindle. It's a little bit easier for me. And then you push this to the right. Now notice the screen has changed. That means we're ready to wind a bobbin. So hold this up like this, have the speed, speed slider all the way up. Make sure you keep the thread up so it doesn't tangle. And this should be a straight line from this guide to the bobbin, wind, uh, the bobbin itself. Now we're gonna hang on to this thread tail until it's made several layers over that thread. Once it's made several layers, the beginning of the thread tail on the inside is now covered up with layers of thread and it'll stay nice and wound tightly against the bobbin. So you can keep winding your bobbin, just putting your foot on the foot pedal. And in this case, I'm going to only wind it part way, but if I was going to wind it all the way full, the thread itself would push against this stopper, which would cause the spindle to push back like this and then eventually stop. It might only go this far here, but it would you would be able to hear it, it would sound different, it would uh, stop spinning. That keeps it from overwinding. Then once we're done, pull this off, snip your thread, and we're ready to put the bobbin into the machine. When you put the bobbin into the machine, make sure that the thread comes off the left-hand side like this. It kind of looks like the letter P. So you don't want the letter Q, you want the letter P, because it, it fits into the, the guides in the bobbin area, just like that. Another way to remember that is look at the cover, and you can see the cover has a little illustration here showing the thread coming off the left-hand side. Also, it's, it shows the thread path where it goes under this piece of metal here. A little flange like that goes under there, and you can see it's guiding right into those uh, guides right there. Now. We want to stop it from spinning because that gives a little more tension on the thread so when we pull it back, it slides right into those thread guides. That's the tension area for the bobbin. That's important to get it in the tension just like you want to get your thread into the tension at the top. Now you can pull this around to the right, give it a little jerk and it comes right off. It's ready to sew at this point. Now there are applications where you might want to have your thread tail from your bobbin coming up through the needle plate, and I'll show you that. So if that was the case, go under here, start out the same way, pull it back, and just leave it right there. And then after we have the needle threaded, I'll show you how to bring that up through the needle plate. So we put the cover on, just like that. Okay, so for threading your top thread, we're gonna just follow these numbers. Start out, two hands, pulling this forward, till you hear that little click. Then we go down here to two, around three, and the take up lever is right there. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of tension so it gets past the little stopper. 
There's a little stopper in the take-up lever to help keep the thread in the take-up lever. Come down here, you see this little jog here? That means there is a thread guide. Go around it like that. Okay, now you can see the thread has gotten a hold of that thread guide right there. Then there is a guide on the needle bar right there. Go up and over like that. Now comes the fun part, threading the actual needle. Pull this all the way down. I like to put my finger back here just to make sure it stays put. Then I use my thumb to guide the thread under this hook here, pull it across, put it under the metal hook on this side, and hold it lightly in your fingers at an upward angle like this. Bring your thumb and finger back on your left hand, gently lift this up, and it has made a loop of thread behind the needle. Oops, I pulled out the wrong thing. Okay, make sure that your thread goes in front of the needle, that's important too. Okay, that loop of thread right there is what you want to pull through. So make sure you don't pull just the, the tail end because it'll just pull right back out. And that's probably what I did earlier. Okay, so you pull that through. Now, because you're working closely with the needle, you might want to either disconnect your foot control or just simply turn off your machine. I had it on so that you could see the light. The light would help uh, so you could see what's going on. Now, remember what I talked about pulling up the bobbin thread through the needle plate? So hold this top thread at an upward angle. You can use the needle down, needle up to make one stitch. And when you do that, it makes one complete cycle when you push it twice. Here is the bobbin thread. That little loop is what we want to pull up through. Now, I don't like getting my fingers really close to the pointy end of the needle, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thread under, top thread under the foot, take the tail end of that top thread, swipe it straight back. That's one of my little tricks that I've shown people too. And I use this all the time at home on my own sewing. Now these are a little bit long, so we can just cut them off like that, and we're ready to sew. That is threading on the Ellen Experience 560. We have other videos on this machine that are coming up. This machine is also similar to some of the Janome models, and um, you can look those up too. This machine is one of the newer ones, is a nice little machine. Uh, get to know it if you have this machine, but stay tuned for some of our other videos. If this, was, this video was helpful to, to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you have questions or comments, you can leave them in the little area down below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.